Hi everyone and welcome to Cities in Motion 2. I am Drobo Pasco and today we're gonna have some more fun than usually because we're gonna lay down some rapid transit routes. But first, thi first things first. What have I been doing in the meanwhile? Well, there was no video. Alright. I was testing the trolley bus lines on the on the main in the city center actually and I have tweaked their schedules so that now uh, the timetable of trolley bus line 1 uh, says that on the weekends large trolley buses are preferred to run on the on the line because I have seen some excessive excessive loads of passengers traveling on the line like in this case we've got 54 people on board of, on board of the trolley bus and 28 people on the other one so that's some that's some pretty large number and I don't really want I don't really want people to get too upset so I send the large trolley buses for them Okay, then I have also looked onto the trolley bus line 2 and I tweaked the weekend timetable uh, frequency so that uh, people get more trolley buses on the weekends because they need it and they deserve it. And right now it's it's three trolley buses running uh, running on the weekends. All right. Another thing that I have done uh, are these two uh, bus lines on this small island. They actually connect a little residential district, little residential estate. I think it's an it's the size of an estate. At least it looks like. To the industrial zone right here. And right now there are no passengers here because it's Sunday, but I hope there will be there will be passengers interested in traveling this ways these ways uh, on the in the week days on the weekdays. All right. So these are some changes I've done to the map and to the. Uh, to the network and now it's time for something bigger because I need to have a fast and reliable transport between this island this little district right next to the stadium these this industrial zone and the city center and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build rapid uh, bus with transit routes for trolley buses. So I'm gonna use trolley buses on separate uh, separate roads on separate ways, so that they are so that they go faster, and then they have they run more frequently, and they serve better on this large distance it's like let's say the whole map has a length of eight kilometers so my line will be like five kilometers at least so yeah that's gonna be a long one and I don't really want I don't really want the any any special delays on them so I need a rapid transit route which I'm gonna start building right now Okay. F so first, let's uh, let's put down a starting point for it. Actually, bus line five, which is this one on the left, uh, has limited service on the weekends and does not does not uh, run at night. And the other one, which is line six, has some less restrictions, and it also has night services so I'm gonna use the terminus of line 6 f also as an interchange point with the rapid transit line okay 
I think I'm gonna start building the uh, the trolley bus line over here. It's a nice spot for a depot. So I'm just gonna place it right now. It'll be a large one. Actually, the first large depot in the city. I didn't yet need any other. And now it's time to plan the route. This is gonna be the interchange stop between the bus line and the trolley bus line. And then we're gonna have no stops uh, until we cross the bridge. Alright, the line will be crossing the bridge just like other other vehicles, but then I need it to dive underground here because I'm gonna build an underground uh, underground route. Okay, I got the I got the tunnel exit right. Sadly, I had to demolish the building that was sitting right here, but well, sometimes you just have to do such thing. Anyway, let's continue building. Now I will place uh, I will place the underground stations for the uh, for the BRT the rapid transit and this will that will simply be uh, roads with uh, with sidewalks because there I will just place stops and give a, uh, give the place some access for people with uh, pedestrian walkways and that's gonna be it and it's perfect so people will have the uh, some nice access to the to the trolleybus stops. Okay, let's move on to the next station. Okay, and I'll have an access right next to the swimming to the swimming pool. Just need to figure it out a little bit. Uh, hang on. Yeah, this intersection will serve as a ground access. There we go. Deleting unnecessary intersections, and there we go. Nice walkway to the station. Then let's have the next part, the next station. It'll be like uh, in this place because I want a nice uh, interchange with bus line three, which which goes uh, which goes here. And I will have an an entrance to the to the station right here. Let's see. I'll use this intersection uh, that already exists. placed like always uh, uh, let's cover these buildings nicely with uh, the catchment area yep. and then the bus roads nice all right I'll just do the next stations and stops 
the s uh, using the same the same scam. So let's move on. All right, I have placed the stops. As you see, here is a fancy entrance to the underground station. For me, it looks nice. I like it. Notice that uh, I chose the regular roads, not the bus-only roads for the stations, uh, for aesthetic purposes. As you see, the, uh, the intersections are always uh, pure, uh, pure asphalt, not painted asphalt, and that would that wouldn't look so nice uh, if if I had if I had say. Uh, those uh, those black black blue gaps uh, between the between the red roads. So I left the stations just plain plain asphalt. All right. Then I decided to make the the central uh, the part of the line that goes into the city center on the surface because it has to stop frequently, and it wouldn't be really very really convenient to. To place uh, those underground stops uh, everywhere here, so it's like one, two, three, four, five, six places to stop, and yeah, it would be, it wouldn't be quite, uh, it wouldn't be quite easy. All right, but I got the stops, and now we should place the trolleybus wires. So here we go. I'm gonna electrify the uh, the whole route. I don't have enough money to build. Oh, I'll have to take a loan. That's the first loan I will take uh, in this in this game. Actually, I don't mean Citizen Motion 2, but this particular save. Let's see, uh, ten thousand will be just fine, uh, or even twelve thousand. I will need some money for the trolley buses to run the to run the road. And let's make the repayment time longer. Let's say 20, 21 weeks. The interest rate has risen, but the weekly payment is lower, and that's that's what I need. Okay, let's take the loan and finish the finish the construction. Right, we have the wires. The wires, yep. And we need to establish the line. Let me do it real quick. All right, we've got the line. Let's take a look at the time it will take a trolley bus to complete it. Oh dear, it's nine hours estimated. So I think it will be at least 12 hours. That's a long time, so I will need this route to to run 24/7. Uh, That's a must, as I have such a long, uh, such a long time uh, for a uh, for a vehicle to actually manage to uh, to make a circle on the line. It's a really long line for a trolley bus, but I hope it will be profitable and convenient for the people that use it. Let's see, two hour frequency. Uh, starting at one. All right. And I will prefer large trolley buses. And let's buy the vehicles. The game says I will need five of them. Twelve by twelve by two is actually six vehicles. I will buy seven buses just in case I need some additional ones. That will cost me 
9100. There we go, we have the vehicles. Let it go. Okay, I've made the line. And we'll see how it uh, how it works. All right. This is the end of today's episode. I hope you guys enjoy it and please leave a rate uh rate the video, leave a comment if you like. And see you guys soon. Bye for now.